I'm Abhishek Bhatra. I'm one of the AIML practice leaders uh, in Genpact. Almost uh, 15 years of experience in analytics and consulting space. So uh, the topic was domain specific word segmentation and hierarchy detection using natural language processing. Uh, some of the key takeaways from, from the talk is data pre-processing is extremely important step for solving any NLP problems. Uh, extracting data from the PDFs becomes a huge challenge because most of the time you end up getting continuous text, unsegmented text. Our solution kind of proposes how we can segment the text and how we can make them meaningful by training a neural network algorithm. Uh, and of course, the key takeaway is spend a lot of time in pre-processing the data uh, before even you start with the model development and training of the algorithm. We see a lot of uh, no-code and low-code um, machine learning platforms. Um, recently, uh, we tested driverless AI, uh, which is a product by H2O, and which, which completely eliminates the element of coding from, um, from, the, from the things like uh, uh, EDAs, exploratory data analysis, or feature engineering, feature uh, model building, model evaluation and everything. Uh, we see that happening uh, more in 2020 as well, because I think uh, more such platforms are coming up. So uh, bilinguals or citizen data scientists uh, will have opportunity to play around with the data and solve more business problems with by keep, keep, uh, but at the same time keeping the coding level limited. See, the structured, well, okay, let me put it this way. 50 to 60% of the problems that we are still solving today are structured data problems. When I say structured data problems, it's predictive analytics or optimization, right? The rest of the problems are majority NLP problems that we are solving, some bit of computer vision. But I think that share of computer vision will definitely grow in the next few years or so. Uh, as the, as the, as the, as the, architectures, uh, as a neural network architectures becomes much more powerful as the computing power grows as well. I think people are going to start experimenting with more hyperparameter tunings, uh, with coming up with more complex uh, architecture with much more layers and stuff like that. So I think that share of computer vision will definitely increase. And uh, at the same time, the kind of problems that we see from our clients, like we were discussing with some of the uh, some of the folks over here. Most of them are actually, uh, most, of the, most of those folks are actually interested in solving those problems using computer vision. So I see the computer vision uh, trend coming up uh, really well. What's happening right now is, uh, there are multiple bespoke solutions which are getting deployed and a combination of bespoke solutions is what really creating the scale up version of AI. Uh, People are also recalibrating their expectation in terms of scaling up AI. I mean, they are they are they are not trying to reach the moon on day one. They are trying to uh, solve one problem at a time, reach one milestone at a time, and I think that's the that's the right way of right pace of scaling as well. So the so the they, so the leadership of those organizations have also been calibrated, and the people who are executing those uh, projects are also well grounded about some of the limitations of trying to scale up at a faster rate. Accelerating. Uh, 